All right, so this video is all about maximizing utility. So first you'll learn uh, what utility is. Utility is the satisfaction received from consuming good or services, a good or service. So marginal utility is the satisfaction received from consuming just one additional good or service. So when thinking about maximizing utility, you gotta think of it in terms of marginal utility, that's what I have MU here for, over dollars or price. So I have marginal utility of apples and marginal utility of coffee. You tend to consume two of those products. So the marginal utility of apples, let's say, is four when the apple is 50 cents. So this comes out to about eight. Now the marginal utility of coffee over dollars, 10 utilities or 10 utils is the, sometimes the unit used for one dollar equals 10, of course. So now we've got to think of what should we consume more of, what should we consume less of, or this person. Well, we know there's diminishing marginal utility. If you consume more, you get less utility from it. The first donut I have, I love it. It's great. But after a dozen donuts, I feel sick to my stomach, and I do not receive the same amount of satisfaction as the first donut. That is diminishing marginal utility. So since this fraction is more, I should consume more coffee. The, the, the uh, numerator, the top number, will go down a little bit, and then maximizing utility is when the marginal utility per dollar is equal to each other. So for this example, consume more coffee or less apples and to maximize utility. Now here's a practice problem from the 2012 AP macro exam, uh, question two. Now this person is consuming either a bagel or buying a toy car. So here's the quantity of bagels, the quantity of toy cars, and the marginal utility of each. So from here, we could be able to figure out, uh, I think the question might have been, what is the total utility from, let's say, uh, three bagels? Well, the total utility, you got to add up the marginal utility. So 8 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 21. The total utility of consuming three bagels is 21 utils. That, I guess, would be the correct uh, way to think about it. Now you got to think about, okay, the bagel costs $2, a toy car costs $1. This person has $11 worth of income. So what we want to be able to do is we want to try to be able to maximize our utility. So the marginal utility per dollar has to equal each other for these two units, for these two products. So for bagel, $2, marginal utility is 8. So we know the marginal utility per dollar is 4. And we get 3.5. 3, 2.5, 2, and 1.5. Now since the toy car that price is $1 is the marginal utility, it's just going to be, uh, the marginal utility per dollar is going to be the same as the marginal utility. I got to think about, okay, we only have $11 worth of income. So of course, if we had an unlimited income, we could buy all of these things and have lots of utility. But, we only have a limited amount of money, so we have to kind of limit things. We have to find a number that matches up. So first off, you see 4 and 4. All right, that's not bad. We can have one bagel and four toy cars. But one bagel is going to cost us $2, and four toy cars cost us $4. So it's going to be... $4 plus $2, $6. We still have a lot of money left over. Let's see, we need to look more at this graph or this chart and see um, maybe a greater amount of utility. I see three, why you put your dollar, and three. We're maximizing the utility of these numbers, our marginal utility per dollar, are matching each other. So by buying three bagels, we're spending $6. And by buying five cars, we're spending $5. So $6 plus $5 equals $11. That is our total income. Our utility is maximized. We have three units of bagels and five units of cars. And this most satisfaction received from, with the current price amount um, is at that level. All right, so that is utility and trying to maximize uh, utility. All right, keep studying.